hello kids how are you all hope you all had a safe and healthy diwali welcome back to our value education class today we will be moving to the next chapter of your value education chapter number 5 generous tree let's start a long time ago there was a huge apple tree a little boy loved to come and play around it there was a boy who loved to play with that apple tree he used to come and play around it every day he climbed up to the tree top ate the apples and took a nap under the shadow he loved the tree and the tree loved to play with him time went by the little boy grew up and he no longer played around the tree every day one day the boy came back to the tree with a sad look on his face come and play with me the tree said to, to the boy the boy said i am no longer a kid i don't play around trees anymore i want toys i need money to buy them sorry i don't have money but you can pick all my apples and sell them so you will have money the tree said that i don't have money but i have apples so you can sell and earn money to buy toys the boy was so excited he plucked all the apples from the tree and left happily the boy didn't come back after he picked the apples the tree was sad one day the boy returned and the tree was so excited come and play with me the tree said the boy said i don't have time to play i have to work for my family we need a house for shelter can you help me now the boy wants a house for his family and again he needs the help of the tree sorry i don't have a house but you can chop off my branches to build your house the tree said what did the tree said that you can cut my branches and build your house so the boy cut all the branches of the tree and left happily the tree was glad to see him happy but the boy didn't come back afterward the tree was again lonely and sad now one hot summer day the boy returned and the tree was delighted come and play with me again the tree said i am sad and getting old i want to go sailing to relax myself can you give me a boat the boy asked to the tree now the tree said use my trunk to build your boat you can sail far away and be happy so the boy cut the tree's trunk to make a boat he went sailing and didn't come back for a long time finally the boy returned after he had been away for so many years 
Sorry, my boy. But I don't have anything for you anymore. No more apples for you, the tree said. Now the tree said that it has nothing for the boy now. I don't have teeth to bite, the boy replied. The boy said, what will I do with the apples? I can't eat that apples now. I don't have any teeth. No more trunk for you to climb on, the tree said. I am too old for that now, the boy said. I cannot climb to your trunk now, so I don't need a trunk also. I really can't give you anything. The only thing left is my dying roots. The tree said with sadness. The tree said that I have nothing but only my dying roots. Now the boy said I don't need much now. Just a place to rest. I am tired after all these years. The boy replied. Good. All tree roots are the best place to lean on and rest. Come, sit down with me and rest. Now the tree said that if you want rest, you can come and sit down with me. The boy sat down and the tree was glad and smiled with tears. So children, what is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is... Service to mankind is service to God. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Service given to anyone in any form makes one feel happy. So, we should always help and be kind to others. Okay? Thank you.